Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the finals of the CDI Cricket Mixed Doubles Invitational. I'm Sean Green, your play-by-play -play commentator, joined by the handsome gentleman on the right side of the screen. That is Mr. Danny Baggish. Leonard Gates is going to get the diddle started here first. His partner, Ariel Feist, is uh, from South Dakota. What is that? Like, it's like, a state. No, I know it's a state, but what, what's the mascot? So I don't get this wrong, Sean. You can just say South Dakotan. Boom goes to South Dakota. There's not that jersey yet, so you can't really say that. Okay. Uh, this is a Wisconsinite, though. Big Bob Anderson. So Who do you have here? I think a Texan is going to win. I'm never going to ask you that question again. Uh, am As I going to be wrong? No, you're not going to be wrong. Boom goes the dynamite. <laughs> All right, Ariel. Ariel Feist. Who do you who do you uh, choose? Who who do you pick? It's it's hard to pick against the team that's on the king seat that's already beat the other team once already. Uh, so my money is on Bob and Cheyenne. Did they? I don't think they played each other. Well, not yet, but they're going to win this first match, and then okay. it'll be tough gotcha. to pick against. I usually don't do this, Sean, but uh, we have been in this commentary booth for a long time, and. Based on watching everyone play, I am taking. Come on, Gator. <laughs> did you hear <laughs> that from here? Hear, I did hear it from here. Uh, I am going. No, you know what? I don't know. I, I took Bob and Cheyenne. Wow, so to, far. To begin, you've said nothing. But I, I just feel like Gates and Ariel are going to are gonna come back. The way they've played together. I think I'm picking them to come back and and win. I mean, the last time that Leonard and Ariel lost was round one. The very first match of the day. So the only team that they've actually lost to, I believe, is Garyon and Terry. Yeah, Garyon Gary and Terry beat Leonard and Ariel in round number one. Leonard said uh, he lost to himself. Cheyenne has gone to crazy hair to tell you how focused she is now. Uh, she has no idea her hair looks like that, or else she would not keep it that way. <laughs> I don't know, but... <laughs> she does not care. It right is second. wacky. Uh, whatever... <laughs> that hair clip is something else. Whatever uh, wins you the lake in the match. Yeah. Well, I it's totally like a rally think, cap. It is like a rally cap, and boom goes the Texan. Leonard Gates. Leonard Gates. You know, I try my best not to say Boom Goes the Texan for Leonard. Well, what do you say? I just say Boom Goes Dynamite for anyone that's not a Wisconsinite because everything else is just kind of made up. Well, I'm just to sell jerseys. Okay, well, everything you say is made up. By Jen. Okay. Yes, uh, everything. <laughs> no, no, no. I stole Boom Goes the Dynamite. Don't you give me credit for that. Oh, that is true. Yeah. Bob Anderson. I did make up the Wisconsinite thing. All right, here we go. Back to the action. Ariel Feist. Okay, let's not play footsie with me Sorry, this buddy. late into the week. <laughs> well, don't give me the giggles in the finals again today, Sean. Uh, only a two mark there from Ariel. Cheyenne's going to... Not hard to ask you not to touch me, yeah. all right? I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't know your foot was there. Cheyenne's hair looks way better now, so I think that <laughs> someone had her fix it. Or she was in the middle of working on it when she had to throw. Or Go back to the rally cap. Someone is listening and said... <laughs> There's no one listening. Them. That is for sure. By the way, I did make an announcement that the finals of the CDI were going on in here. And about zero people immediately came into the room. No one listens to me. No, uh, I, I noticed that... Uh, like that took away the high, higher ground there from Leonard. Yeah, I have a feeling we're going to get one person at least come in this room in the next maybe 10 seconds. That's an, an, a Hoosier back there. Uh, Justin Bledsoe in the blue shirt sitting down. And, of course, Leonard's better half, Ginger. There we go. Someone just walked in. I'm surprised Bob went at the close first. Because, hey, there's Carly. Carly Griggs is going to see herself on the screen. Um, Co-director. Co-director. Does she, Pardon does she look Apple? happy? You know what? I, I will say that if you asked her, she's had a fantastic week. Yeah, uh, this is the celebration of all the hard work that they put into all year long. Uh, without her, uh, we're not here. So we cannot tell you how much we appreciate her allowing us to do what we do, oh. CSE Challenger Series and everything else. And I'm telling you, got to go back to the hair don't care. 
Yeah, she needed uh, just two 17s there would have locked up this, or uh, well, at least give them the the comfortable lead. And, of course, there's the man with all the ideas behind the PPD, Mr. Jim Turntine. Can't it's only a two mark, Sean. I, you know what? It, it still is enough to make Bob at least hit four to think about it on the 16s. Six, or four will tie it up. He doesn't do that. Do you close the 17 still? Yes. He is so upset with the fact that he does not know what to do here. Yes. I mean, he knows what to do. It's just he's upset that he has to do it. And so he doesn't do it. I would I would have closed uh, the 17s. My annoyance would have made me stay on the 16s, and that's why you will play with your mind more than your heart uh, in situations. And that's why you win more. Then you lose. Jason, not much more, or else you wouldn't be here right now with me. So here is <laughs> Cheyenne Richards. Going to look at the 16s. At some point, get rid of the 17. Might as well be now or next time. No, nah, I would have done it with a second dart. That way, if you missed. Yep. But, uh, she hits. She hits. Uh, only requires a seven mark from uh, Gates here to shut down and get ahead. He will, too. Which we expect him to do. Now, definitely after the first dart. Stayed. Yeah, he went to stay, and I don't like that move either. You're shaking your head. I'm shaking my head. Leonard shook his head. Yeah, he shook his head because he missed. Will keeps trying to write things down for me, but I never know what he is writing, and which is saying a lot because I have to work with 12-year-olds handwriting all the time. Yeah, that is saying a lot. What a dart there. Oh, and a seven mark, huge seven mark by Bob. He timed it last Timely. the right way. Yep. So Ariel is going to look at the bowl. When does she close the 16? Uh, I don't know she will, if she will. I would with it being Leonard coming up, but she does not. <laughs> Tell me what Cheyenne does and why. Uh, I would load up the 16. Because Gates is a bullseye hitter. <laughs> Glad you read all the instructions. The why is important <laughs> in, <laughs> in the question. <laughs> yeah, I kind of had to break it down there for a minute. To be like, you have to write at least two sentences. And the kids only answer in one sentence because they ignore the why. 16? Yeah, trip 16 on dart three. Just in case Bob does the unthinkable. The unimaginable. Look, uh, oh, Mike Maloney. Uh, back there watching the darts. Game Huge one. congratulations to him. He did not get second place again. Uh, he would have preferred it in this event. Yes, he absolutely would have. Yeah. $3,000 is a good amount of money for a second place finish, and that's per person. First place, $6,000 apiece is what they're playing for, and Bob and Cheyenne one leg away from winning this set to make it two sets to zero against Leonard and Ariel. It's the first of three sets. Oh, it's first to three legs. That's right, in the finals. Yeah, first to three legs in the Back finals. Back on the winner's side. Back on the winner's side. Which, actually, that's what Will wrote down earlier, and then I still... Did not read it. Didn't uh, say it correctly. Yeah, that's all right, Sean. We, so we all make mistakes, That should buddy. be the last time Will even tries to note, make a note for me. Leonard, Leonard Gates averaging a 5.548 coming into this. Yeah, yeah. And Ariel is a 2.747. And I know that you're asking, like, where they are in the actual, like, averages from top to bottom. Yeah, like, is, is uh, Gates is, is the second, isn't he? Your list over there should be in order, is it not? It is not. Okay. This is going to be... Uh, Cheyenne is the... Fifth highest average of the ladies in the sixth. Fifth. She's got to be fifth. I, I, be I believe you you said that before. So if Cheyenne's, yeah. the, f if Cheyenne's the fifth, that means Bob, Bob was the, the 28th. Yep. And Leonard, I would guess, is number Second. two or three. No, he'd be number three. Okay. With Mike Maloney as number two. So okay. he's number three, so that means that Ariel was the 29th? 30th. 30th. Yeah. So there you go. I guess it's a little bit against what we 
that's God. what that's what I was trying to figure yeah. out, which is uh. But that, it's it's crazy because it's kind of going it's on both Aerial ends of shooting, the spectrum. Aerial shooting way better than thirtieth. Bob shooting way better than twenty. Eighth. That's exact. That is That's the, the exact comparison that I was uh, looking to make. And you would argue that Cheyenne's shooting better than fifth, right now. Yeah, of course, of course. That's Good a darts. huge dart. Look at that. Thirtieth highest average, my caboose. <laughs> <laughs> Big seven mark there from Ariel. And Cheyenne going to try and match it on the 17s. And she does so. Back to back. Big legs from the ladies. A nine mark from Cheyenne Richards. And Leonard and Cheyenne, both from the same area, play at the stadium and Thirsties and all those same venues. So I'm sure that they have seen each other for years and years and years. Yeah, they know, they've known each other for a long time. If there's it's one female uh, opponent that's not going to blink uh, playing against Leonard Gates, it's going to be someone like Cheyenne. Yeah, of course. Come on, Bobby. This is a battle. Bob and Cheyenne have a combined average of a 4.20. Gates and Ariel is a 4.15. Those just seem so low for how they've been playing. Yep. Oh, they're way lower than they've been throwing today. Yeah. There is no doubt in my mind. She's going to stay up there on the 18. And yep. Oh, she just, just drills it. And drills it does it. That is Leonard saying, hey, point. Yeah. You don't need to worry about anything else. I'll, I'll move. You point. Keep it out of reach for Cheyenne, even with a nine mark like we just saw her do. Her hair did get crazier there on that nine mark that she shot, and now <laughs> it's getting more and more out of whack, which is better. And here are the unconventional. Just, I'm telling you, I just... The, the lack of dark god karma when Leonard does stuff like that <laughs> as he looks into the camera uh, because he knows that we're wondering what the heck is he still doing that for. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. He's feeling it right now. I can tell you this. The person that that's not going to feel like gamesmanship to no matter what is Bob Anderson and Shine Richards. As Bob throws in a nine to follow, like, hey, go ahead. You can throw out those bowls all you want, Leonard. <laughs> I'll just take my uh, 96 points and move along. Thank you. That's it. 72-point lead now. And uh, I won't be surprised if she goes up to the 18. Yep. Talked to her right before this started. Uh, again, South Dakota. Um, plays in the same area of the wooden nickel as uh, Ray Morgan, uh, Joey Mann, and – that also include the Smiths. So there you go. Little iron sharp and iron both ways. Yes. Where these people are, where all four of these players are from, it makes uh, perfect sense why South Dakota, Houston, Texas, and then, of course, Green Bay, Wisconsin. They don't lack uh, skill in their areas, do no. they? No. They, all three of those are big dart hotspots. That's what it sounded like. And uh, you know what else sounds like something that's a hot spot? That triple sixteen right now for Bob because here's an opportunity for him to get ahead. Yeah, this and is to take back the, control. I'd shut the eighteen down now, but he's gonna shoot another one. And here we go, staying there, feeling 15. it. Six oh in a my row. goodness! Boom goes the Bobby Anderson with the nine mark back to back. Six triple sixteens in a row, and we were commentating his other match, and he had seven triple sixteens yep. in a row. So. It love, might, love, love those 16s. Yeah, it might be safe to say he loves the 16s. And you can see what it did right there to Ariel. The door is wide open for Cheyenne and Bob to take a 2-0 lead. Wide open. Oh, I don't like that she's not looking at the 18 first. She, oh, no. She well, overthought all that. Yeah, what's going on here? You just got to stay chalk with Leonard following, right? Just shut the, yeah, you shut the 18 down. And then after the first two, she can't do anything but go back to points. And uh, you just gave Leonard an opportunity here, and it just feels like he's going to take advantage. I mean, it seems like he's just going to follow it with a nine. Yeah. <laughs> you don't. I don't know what what that move was, but we'll take it all day. And uh, yeah, you just man. How do you not? You got to do the, the simple 18. thing. Yeah. 
and your partner just cannot continue to hit triples on the 16s back to back to back to back to back to back to back. Not with the twi 28th highest average of the men in this event, <laughs> yeah, which is still was, ridiculous. Uh... That tells you how close the averages are across the board. That was, uh, yeah, that just, that hurts. Got to close that 18, especially with Gates behind you. And and even here, you know, you're 18 points down unless she hits the triple. Oh, she does. And now you just have to have to bang in the 16s. The lowest average for the men was a 4.695. And that goes all the way up to the 5.792 of Jules. But most of those players are within the 5.0 range. Or 0 0.2, 0 0.3 difference. Kate still keeps going up that bowl. And uh, again, it's going to... No, you can't do that, right? Yeah. No, you can't. You can't. And, uh, he's just, just bad str strategy. Struggling just a bit. If he continues up with that strategy, I don't think they triple dip. Is that a bold thing to say? No, that's not. I mean, I think you're spot on. I think Bob you're spot on. That's a tough first start for Bob. But he's awesome, so he gets rid of it on the dart, too. Now he's going to look up because it's blocked for sure. Doesn't close it, but gets inches a little bit closer. And Cheyenne's hair is just crazy enough on that one side to where she's going to throw in a big round. But Arrow's going to get a shot first. Oh, just one hole on the inside. There needs the triple. There it's it is. A, big shot. Took her time on dart three without rushing it and hits a big, big shot. Yep, there goes the 18. Back to the 16. Needs the triple. Not going to get the triple. And Leonard winning darts. Winning darts. And it was, it was this surprising. This is why he set up the bulls the whole time. <laughs> and that's what he's going to say after he hits this uh, little 7 mark. He's going to go 15 first. And 7 mark. Hey, let's go to the next leg. <laughs> Leonard trying to get the crowd going. And they even Mike Maloney is like, just talking to someone strategy-wise about darts, so he's not paying attention anymore to what Leonard's doing in the background. 1-1. One, one. Nope. Soldier. It's erased. There's no diddle here. There we go. Figured it out. Here we go. The board don't lie. This is the TOC. Yeah, the three. This is set up already the right way. Yeah. Um, this is... 1-1. Uh, one one. This is this is unfortunate because I feel like Bob and Cheyenne let that one slip away. Should should be two zero. Based on what we've seen so far, do we? It just does not feel like Bob and Cheyenne are in a position to get triple dipped with by Leonard and Ariel. So far. So so you think that it's not going to happen? I don't. Not the triple dip. As we get a... Boom goes the dynamite. From Leonard Gates right up the... Right from the start. Cheyenne's going to not even blink. Taking the shot. Oh, I like the move. It was the right dart. Yeah, she's shaking her head at it. No, I don't mind it at all. Uh, you know, she's got that aggressive mentality and... Uh, just kind of shocking still. I can't, I can't get over not shutting, shutting that 18 down in the in the last leg. Because I feel like that. Yeah, that, it cost a, it. Yeah, that's a, that was a big strategy. Uh, Faux pas. Strategic move uh, that did not pay off. Faux pas. That's, yeah. What's that mean? It means like uh, error in judgment. Gotcha. Okay. A no-no. Yeah, no-no. Well, Bob uh, is going to want to hit the triple here. Oh, just one hole. Is he going to take the shot now with nope. Gates behind? Yeah, he, he's he gonna, should. But he's going to look at he it. He doesn't want to. I can tell you, he does not want to. No, he doesn't want to. But you, he gonna, is. you you have to sooner or later. Might as well make it now. But if you don't want to, you're not committed to hitting it. 
Oh, that's a mental thing. You're, yeah. you're not wrong. You're not wrong. Uh, Gates is going to take a shot. No, he's not. Doesn't hit the trip 19. <laughs> a little inconsistent here. 9-2. Uh, inconsistent last leg until the 7 mark. Yep. Uh, hit a couple 2 of two to 4 marks. So it's uh, it's a been a bit scrappy from, from almost all of them. Yeah, focused on those 18. Stays right there. Like the lay of them. And... Uh, First big round in a few from Shine Richards. See if Ariel can respond. She's going to have to adjust off of that first dart, and it's sometimes a little bit tough for her to do so. That third dart was a good dart thrown, just misses on the wire. That it was. Now I want to see Bob shut the 19 down first and then move. Uh, no reason to point first. There we go. Nice and easy. Bob. We seen Cheyenne do the same thing too, or was it Ariel? It was Ariel. Ariel, yeah. Needed one, hit two off the board, then hit the double. Yeah, he, he forced that one there. Yeah, and it just wired into it, but that'll work. It felt a like a shaky, but got it done. Yeah, he tried to throw it through the board on that yeah. last start. Uh, as Gates go 9-2 and probably 9. Okay. How about 7? He does go 7, but Cheyenne just threw 7 herself, and... Uh, she looks about as locked in as I've seen her in quite a while. She does, but uh, just remember, every time that she hits like a big shot, she usually never followed it up with another one, but she does this time. Yes, she does. 7-18. She's walking with a little extra swag. swag. Don't ever do that again. <laughs> <laughs> Ariel's going to try to answer. This has been a fun event, Sean. Oh, I've enjoyed every second of it, and... Sitting next to you has been the most special part. Thank you. And look at that group. Look at the dream team. That is the dream team. Including uh, the you security, making sure the players don't uh, get hurt. And then we got a quick look at the other bleacher section. Oh. Listen, you want to show the whole room. I like it. So here is Leonard Gates. Good darts from Bobby. Yeah, he can take a just a slight lead here, a three-point lead, and he does. He <laughs> he's gonna single-handedly just try and will his team to victory, and unfortunately, you got Cheyenne following you, who's just been destroying it, just killing that 18. Is she Looking gonna take down. a shot? Oh, oh, I like it. She's still <laughs> one hole. I mean, the confidence has returned. You yeah, see that? Yeah, it's a it's a good match, and she's playing really well. Uh, Gates is n is now starting to step it up, so Ariel and Bob are gonna gonna need to step it up just a little bit, as they're they're faltering just a little bit. Yeah, just a little bit. And uh, Ariel is not playing as well as she she has been all day. She's been playing really well all day, so she just needs to regroup a little bit. The good news for Leonard and Ariel is that this is a marathon, not a sprint. It is a race to three. Even if they lose this match, which ooh Bob, that was nice, Bob. Even if they lose this match, as we look at some random fan in the crowd, um, <laughs> it'll be another race to three. Yes, yes, and uh, which is also going to be uh, another long race to three. Can go either way. Yep. And uh, it's going to be like, a battle. Yeah, every leg's going to be a battle as they try to get rid of the 16 here. I love the fact that gave her a double 19, which that's why she's giving that look on her face. Same look I would have given, and the same look why Bob's laughing hysterically in the background. Yeah, I call that the Maloney effect. No reason to throw the double 19 there. <laughs> it is, first of all, closed. <laughs> and then second of all, um, you only needed a zero mark on that. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and Ariel just <clears throat> struggling at this point in time. I. I asked this to Ariel, and you, I asked this to you, and you said coincidence, but I want to re-ask you this question. Ariel and Cheyenne are the only two ladies that played in the no-cap open doubles uh, that had some success over the past few days. Is that helpful uh, in this situation or for this tournament? It seems like it has to be with the success that they've had today. Uh, I, yeah, it's helpful that you're playing against better competition, yeah. absolutely. Uh, but I don't think it's helpful that fast of a turnaround. Yeah. You know what I mean? So uh, if they did it for, you know, the last month or something like that, then uh, I would agree with you. But Well, they all play with top-level competition in their hometown on top of it. Right. So to do that in a tournament format 
I think, you know, adds a little extra confident edge. Yeah, maybe, maybe. I mean, those darts couldn't miss any closer. Yeah, that's uh, one bull that could have easily been three, and Ariel's going to look to try to hit. She needs four, but she, she wants to try to hit a couple here, put the pressure on Bob. That's a good second dart. I don't know, fallout, good fallout. Well, if Bob does nothing, then Leonard's going to get a shot. Again, if Bob and Cheyenne win this leg, it just is a 2-1 lead. Race to three, and even if they win the match, it does go to another dip scenario with Leonard and Ari only having one loss. And Bob is not done anything yet, and you you got to go 18 here. Yeah, you got you have to go 18 here because it it, which it takes the game shot out of his hand. He Thank gets it. Thank goodness. That's a bigger dart than anyone who just watched at home thought it was. That's a huge dart. Uh, I still don't like the position that Bob – uh, and Cheyenne are in compared to what they were in a couple rounds ago just because you know what Gates can do with these bullseyes. A lot. So it's going to – I'm okay with this because it forces Cheyenne just to go at the 18s all day, and if she locks in on it and hits the first one, she'll just stay and follow it in there. It's a good start. Yeah, but it puts pressure on the, on, on the thrower, but what is pressure when she continues yeah. to hit a triple? I mean, that was the – bare minimum that she was going to do there and at, at this time with the way her game is, is being played. Can Ariel hit at least two again like she did last round? One more puts a little bit more pressure on Bob. And if you're Bob, you go right at it. Right at it. Uh, you're good enough to hit it. Uh, you missed the f two on the out, just on the outside. See the beautiful ginger back there? I don't see him missing two again. Well... Short on that one, didn't and, he? And that is tough because that first start's so far off that the adjustment here to find the bull on dart two almost leads you to bail on it. But he gets it on dart two anyway because Bob Anderson's not going to bail. He ain't no quitter. And uh, it's a two-to-one lead for he, Bob Anderson Cheyenne. Yeah, he ain't no quitter. And that, that, was a, that was a harder dart than people think. Uh, recomposed, had to have it, or um, – Blowed up the 18s, and he drilled it. So 2-1, to one, Bob and Cheyenne, one leg away from the mixed cricket doubles invitational champions. One leg in, one set. Yes, one leg in, one set. I'm sorry. I, f I do apologize because uh, Gates and Ariel have only lost one, one match. Yes. Or one set. And what does Bob do here on dart three? He's thinking about her. Oh, it's, uh, you shoot the triple 19. I know, but what if you what if you just, you know, do something a little different? Like hit the triple seven instead. Uh, that's, I guess that was always an option. It was, and he took him up on that. So Ariel Feist, a chance to run. And a must-win leg to take us to a last leg decider. And set number three. Or, sorry, this is set number two. It's a one nothing in set lead for Bob and Cheyenne. Essentially. In case you're wondering, Danny's just writing a whole bunch of curse words to cuss me out privately real quick. No, he handed it to Will. Never mind. Textbook. Yeah, this is going to be a... Uh... Goodbye 19s. Yep. Well, Bob gets Control. a little chance. Nah, no, not real, not real control. Uh, I mean, not a, not a real chance, really. Danny, let me. Uh, Unless he nine marks the eighteen, which is uh, not out the question, uh, as Bob has shown time and time again, a nine mark is never out the question. Danny, I don't know if you've noticed this yet, but there is an actual thing in commentary where, uh, whenever you go to an event and you know your break is up after a finals or after this, like the match is over that you're currently in, mm -hmm. it will. Every single time go to the double dip mm -hmm. or to the very last leg decider, no matter what, if it elongates the time that you do not get to take a break. That, uh, yeah. I don't know if you noticed that. Tyler Henze, Rick Henze last night, right? Yeah. Um, yesterday morning, the women's did not do that, but that's because Chrissy Grimmel was Chrissy Grimmel. Right. Um, but the men's CSI almost did that. Yeah. I'm just saying. Yeah, no, which is uh, almost just kind of like every time. And here we go, Leonard. 
Here we go again on his own. Which is uh, which is okay. We're, we're getting good darts. We're getting great matches, and I'm excited to see who's going to finish with the twelve thousand dollars. Man, say that again. What are they playing for right now? Twelve thousand dollars. Yeah, there's eighteen thousand dollars going to be given away to just these four players. Eighteen thousand dollars, and that's not even the highest payouts for a final. Tomorrow, thirty thousand dollars is going to be given away in one finals. That's crazy. At a blind draw. I can't wait. Essentially, to see that. a blind draw. I cannot wait to see that. Oh man! It, tonight, when we find out the teams, that's always extremely exciting. Yes. Um. As long as you look at your partner and you see who it is, uh, there's a lot of people that are going to be very excited. There's a lot of people that are going to have a lot of unknowns. Uh, there's a lot of people that are going to show up tomorrow morning thinking they have no shot and be pleasantly surprised at how well their partner throws right out the gate. Because you never know, you could have a morning just savant in these as well. Um, or an overall savant like yourself. And the averages are posted. So you know exactly who you're getting and exactly what average you're getting from that player uh, and what to expect. Which can lead to some excitement and some... Don't say it. Uh, yeah, you're absolutely right. Potential upsets. Yeah, potential upsets is, is what we're going to have in a lot of it. And uh, I just can't wait to see. Uh, I'm excited about the draws. I am excited about the draws. Last year we saw Ivy Spot and Hunter Smith draw each other. And uh, if you don't think that they weren't excited, I'm pretty sure someone did a lap around the hotel. <laughs> I'm pretty uh, when sure. When they found well. that out. Oh, she now just So I got to go out there and prove it if you get one of those combinations. Yeah, of course. As uh, Ariel just missed the game-winning shot there to force a last leg decider in the first set. Yeah, look at that. And I thought Cheyenne was going to throw in a nine mark just to do it. It's five. Uh, look at that. Husband and wife duo. Oh, <laughs> Couldn't help it. Uh -oh. Kayla, anything. Yeah, uh oh, SpaghettiOs. This, this, this is a, this is. How like we doable? We talk, yeah. Very doable. Well, how often do we talk about a Double buffers? Big shot on uh, no, you're loading loading the fifteens up. Oh yeah, duh, <laughs> duh. Yeah. What am I talking about? I have no clue. I read that completely wrong. Not even close. <laughs> Nine six mark by Bob Anderson there. So you guys, even the best commentators sometimes lose their focus on what's going on in the screen. But here is Ariel Feist. 15 closes, now up to the 20s. And that'll do it. Made that look easy, didn't she? She did. She threw a 3.43, and I'm going to guess that a lot of people thought that she struggled. I know one person that uh, didn't think she struggled. Herself. Well, Her Leonard. Leonard. Yeah. Anyone who throws darts, unless you throw a perfect game, you think you struggled in the lick. No, oh, stop it. What is a non-struggle for you? So, what is the number that you expect to hit every time, at least? Five zero. That's it. Yeah, that's that's my that's my B game. I feel like if I'm shooting a five zero, uh, five zero or better is my expectation. Uh, I want to stay in the five five to six five range. So, if you throw an entire league and end up with a five zero. You don't think that that's lower than a B game for you? No, I think that's my B game. Interesting. I feel like that's your C game. Well, I appreciate that. I'm just a five five would be your B game, and I think a six plus is your A game. You're talking about consistently, and, it, and well, no. Listen, there's players that play 17 legs here in the CSE Challenger Series every week that average above a six. So if that's not your A game, whose A game is it? The, so no no one is gonna like I said five five to six five is my A game. Oh, okay, I got you. That's fair. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so five zero is is what I expect to throw every time, even if it's my B game. Okay. Your B game is beatable. Oh, my B game is very beatable. And it's not much better than some other people's B game. Yeah, maybe not. But uh, do you know when my I'm B just... game wasn't beatable? In Chicago. Just saying. Did you only throw your B game in Chicago? You only threw your B game in Chicago? My A and B game. It was yeah. a mixture of both. Yeah. That's fair. More A than B, I'm going to guess. Yes. Yeah. All right, here's Ariel. 
scrappy first first few darts. Only a three mark by Gates. Oh, a Cheyenne cannot mark. wait to get up there right now. She's not excited about that dart three, but <laughs> <laughs> Scuba Steve, a nine darter against me was your B game. Sorry about that, Scuba. Kevin Luke said fax to something. As Cheyenne, Rance, Cheyenne Richards throws in a five mark right there. And Leonard's going to make all that pay. Stay up there on dart two. And dart three. Nope. Oh, what a shot. Yeah. Last late decider here. If Leonard and Ariel win this one, it is dead even. And we're at least playing two more matches. It is. And I'm going to – the the longer – if if Leonard – and Ariel win this leg. Yep. I think they win the next two sets and win this three sets to one. And I'm still going to hold firm that Bob and Cheyenne uh, win this and do not get triple dipped, no matter what. Okay. Fair enough. Chat, let us know. Who are you going away with? Thirteen, Almost 1,400 people watching along with these – the final here of the CDI across our platforms. That's a nice five mark by uh, Cheyenne there, but... Back-to-back -back fives. Uh, Gates is going to look to to load up that 20. 18 zone dart two. No, pull. Just random bulls. Is, I don't even think... He's just doing it whenever he feels like it's a sh a extra dart he can throw. Yeah, no, it's it, he he does that a lot. He does that with me as well. So it, it's uh Can you explain the thought process in it or is it just his style of playing cricket that's different than others and that you wouldn't do? It's his style of cricket. And you would not do that at any no, point in time. No. I've done that in steel tip and only yeah. against him. Okay. Was it just because I know he's going to try to yeah. take the bull away from me. Okay. Uh, so a solid three mark there. That's a solid three mark, but uh, Cheyenne's going to want to trip the 18 at some point with the first two darts so she can take the look. Yeah, again, guys, this is the finals of the CDI. Great darts from Cheyenne Richards. And see her look at the camera there? She, didn't, she, she knew didn't, where it was. Yeah, she didn't even uh, hesitate to throw no. that, did she? No, and it's because it's the right shot there. and So why hesitate? Leonard only three. So Leonard backs up that with a three. And uh, this is a moment here for Bob and Cheyenne. Bob is from Green Bay, Wisconsin. At least that area, Milwaukee area. You have Cheyenne Richards from Porter, Texas, which is near Houston. Leonard also from Houston, Texas. And then, of course, Ariel Feist from South Dakota. And big darts there from Big Bob Anderson. And... Uh, that had everything to do with Cheyenne's trip 20 to allow Bob to do that. That was a huge dart by Cheyenne and then a huge follow by Bob Anderson. And a nice five mark by yeah. Ariel. We're starting to turn up the heat here. The ladies are going to be the ones who make a difference overall. And right now they are taking pressure off of their partners. And you love to see that little juxtaposition. Yeah, that is... This, this is, is the final. This is nuts. I love it. Sorry, Steve. I didn't mean near Milwaukee. I meant Green Bay. And to stay there. He was wearing a Brewers hat, okay? Where, There's no where Green Bay going? Brewers. Gates not paying attention. Sh no, not at all. Trip 17. Yep. He missed it, though. So He did miss it, but eh. he just wasn't paying attention. He, he, he has one of those every now and then. Is that... A lack of focus or a hyper focus? What's lack the difference between the two? Uh, lack of focus is. I mean, I know what lack of focus is, right? So what's right. the hyper focus? You are so zoned in on what you're going to do before looking at the board that you still don't look at the board uh, and try to do what you were going to do before you saw that person. Okay, that was oh, that, <laughs> that was a lot, uh, but I'm going to go with that one. Yeah, hyper focus. That was a lot. For Being too quick. Said. Dude, you were all over the place just then. Oh, one hole out the trip, 16. But All right, Cheyenne. Going to shut the 16 down, I'm sure. 
And then back to the 18 or go into the 15. Oh, that's... It's not a... It's not a, That wasn't a bad, uh, bad attempt there, but... Uh, Gates is going to need six of them here. He's not going to get it. So Bob's going to come up and uh, shut the 15 down, but that one random bullseye there might come into play because they are why exactly... Why does it never end up meaningless? It might be meaningless <laughs> if Bob hits a nine or seven. Yeah, of course. It could be meaningless. No, well, he needs to go 18. Yeah, no, there's now a seven. Is, yeah. Well, at least there's that meaningless bull. <laughs> It is meaningless Ariel. now, isn't it? It's, uh, it's never meaningless. If Ariel can hit two here, we can possibly give game shot to Gates if Cheyenne does the patented bull bull miss. What do you mean the patented? That's not a Cheyenne patent. No, it, it's everyone. Everyone. I, I, I usually see the bull bull miss when they shoot it, but she's not even looking at it. I, she is. I like that shot. Uh, going back to the 18s on dart three. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't matter. She she just goes okay, whatever. Yeah. Hundred and a lot point lead. Fifty one. Yeah, I know. Okay. I was just trying to do it for emphasis. Two of eighteen. Yep. Six to three. Uh, Bob, right here. Does he hit it here? Yeah, absolutely. The and brew they, crew. We're gonna go back to another race to three if he does. And uh, another race to three with Bob and Cheyenne only needing one more set. A little ditty about Bob and Cheyenne as they move within one set of the title and twelve thousand dollars. So Cheyenne here we go. Thinks one it's more. Over. It is not. Let's play again. And if that's the case, that's not good. You got to keep up the. Uh, the anxiety, keep up the adrenaline, keep up the focus. If you lo lose it, you might lose it for a while. Yes. So it's two sets to zero. Race to three will be the format again because uh, you go to the team with the least amount of losses, which is Cheyenne and Bob, who have zero. So another race to three. <laughs> Did you see Lisa Van Dogen's... Uh... <laughs> 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 oh, Lisa's the one breathing fire. Oh, my goodness. All right, we're at the Tournament of Champions for the Kiss Cam. Carlos <laughs> and John, what look on over to your left. It. Come on. And he sees it now. Come on, someone watch it. Now he really it. sees it. Come oh, on, he knows he watch looked it. at it. Oh, there's, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. <laughs> no, don't tap him to do it, John. We're just joking. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, my gosh. So here we go. The finals. She said <laughs> too, soon. too soon. Oh, that was great. Yeah. No, never too soon to make Johnny Lackey cry. Oh. Um, so here we go. Uh, the set, she's Two not lying. To zero. You know, it's uh, set lead. It's a race to three sets, but you're not lying. No, one bull uh, was was definitely uh, his crip tonight, wasn't it? To win the whole. They both thing. left. <laughs> They're leaving the venue because of the kiss cam. They're like, I'm not standing here, and you two, you two walking in with your matching shirts. You're gonna be next on that list. Don't. I wouldn't go back there. There's another another two with matching shirts on back there. Oh yeah, you're, you're gonna get them. Oh, Richard, uh, yeah, just because we haven't talked about it doesn't mean it hasn't happened. As Leonard gets it done, throws up the peace sign like Tyreek Hill, and uh, here we go. Yeah, just like Tyreek Hill. Race to three, all cricket. If this one goes to Leonard and Ariel, which it is just sure to do, like this match. Uh, we will go to a race to two all cricket. And then once Leonard and Ariel win that one, we'll go to a last leg for everything where Bob and Cheyenne will pull together at the end and win. That is a detailed prediction there, uh, Sean. My name's Sean. Nice to meet you. Sean Green. Uh, I will be joined by Danny Baggish in the booth if he continues to remember my name. You're going to remember the name Bob Anderson. Throws in a seven mark to get us started here on his throw. 
the impressive four players. Of course, we know Bob. We know Leonard. Uh, Cheyenne has done amazingly well here in this final. It's why they won the first match. Uh, Ariel has been the difference maker at times as well. Um, they both have played at a very high, high level and high quality. Danny trying to stand above me just to threaten me a little bit more. And uh, Cheyenne gets the 20s close, takes care of the high ground. Yeah, it takes care of the high ground, and this early into the uh, into the match, it is important. Yeah. Well, why, while Will <clears throat> steps out for a second, everybody in the chat that's watching along with us, let's give him a huge shout-out for all the hard work he does to put the production on, uh, the stress that he goes through on a daily basis. It is a miracle he has any hair, of all, any hair at all, um, let alone the mane that he currently has. So... Uh, Give a huge shout-out to Will Stewart, the GOAT. Yeah, it's a huge shout-out to Will for sure. It, thanks to them, uh, Will, Nick, Jen, all of you guys. It makes our jobs so much easier. It, it, it does. It, it makes it uh, It makes the production so much better. The production better, our job easier, all of that good stuff. So uh, thank you. And uh, thank you to the chat and uh, yeah. people like Lisa Van Dongen. Uh, for just cracking us up right when we need it. Just Yeah, just smashing Johnny Lackey's. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so it is a race to three. They set up the board as the race to two format. So no matter what, they're going to play a race to three, uh, right? Yeah. They just have to – we'll have to restart the match no matter what because the first team to win two legs. Uh, and the board will say that they won. Of course. How about all of these fantastic darts being thrown? Leonard goes seven. I believe Cheyenne just went seven. And uh, – Bob's going to want to go eight or seven, at least, at least five. Why do you keep bailing? I don't know. Just because five gives him the lead. You, but uh, seven it is, and Bob Anderson gives him the 36-point lead. So you backstep too soon. And uh, Ariel's going to want to bang in those 18s to regain the lead and maybe take a shot to shut the 17 down. No, not with a tie ball game. Oh, Great what a last Mario. start. Cheyenne wants to look at the 18s at some point. She's been destroying them so far. Uh, but she needs four 17s in order to even attempt that look and not going to do that. She's going to scoot over and shoot the 17. It's a tough dart. She hits it. Big dart from Cheyenne. Huge shot from Cheyenne. Just going back with at least five marks from everybody, and it makes it for for a great ending. Look at this from Leonard. Seven, oh, nope, same. I, that's the difference. I knew it right is away. The difference. I didn't try to ask you. I almost said it, and then I realized, nope, that's not the time. The longer this match goes, yep. I think it, the, the more it favors Gates. The chat said that a long time ago. Did they? Yep. Well, the, chat, uh, the chat's right, uh, in my opinion. Yes. Yeah. And way quicker at that prediction. What does Bob do on dart three? He's he's dancing he's, around. He's blocked. So uh, take the shot at the 18 or 15. Or, or just, just trip don't the be 17. blocked. Yeah. yeah, that's it. From our view, he was blocked. If you're blocked, just throw it through it. And Ariel's going to have to look back up at the 18s at least twice. She'll stay there the whole time. Oh, and there's the opening. Cheyenne's got to take this out. Sooner or later on the 18s. Uh, and she's been hammering the, the triple. Yeah, she's going to take the look at the 18 yep. now. Oh, that was a... She went for the double. And while Mike Maloney would be proud, no one else is. Oh, and Leonard takes out the 17 right there. And that was a matter of... Not having the high ground for much longer, I believe. So got rid of the 17 so that it almost forces Bob to go 16s first. It does force him to go 16s first, but he's going to want to shut the 18 down. Oh, he's going to scoot over. That's such a tough dart, and that's the problem here. Uh, oh, he's going way over to there. Throw it harder. Yep. 
He did. He tried to walk it a little bit harder. Especially, especially the way he throws. So he's going to shut the 18 down, though. And that's why you just do that on dart two, so you at least feel good about that second dart. So then you can take that chance. It's a chance shot on dart two. It, it is a chance shot, but if you just shut the 18 down on dart two, I, would, I almost just shoot the single 16 because that right. ties the game. Exactly. You don't have to be forced to shoot the triple. Oh, Ariel has went back and forth on three different plans there, and you can't do that. No, you can't, and uh, China's going to look to punish on the 16 here. She did the exact same thing. She changed her strategy after dart one, and you changed back after dart two. You just can't do that. That was the exact same mistake made twice in a row. I bet you if Gates misses the first dart that he's looking at here, he's going to stay at the same strategy. Which was oh, hit a triple and one. then move. Yeah. That's tough, but two breaks given to, to Gates and Ariel. And uh, not really able to take advantage of it. And uh, Bond, once again, just needs that first triple 16. And I'm sure he'll take a shot out of it. Just needs one, though. One triple 16, then take the shot, Bob. Simple. There it is. And here we go. This might be the game. This leg. Man, I'm telling you what. I will always put my trust in Robert Anderson. That's uh, yeah. I don't know. Uh, I don't know Robert, but I'd put my trust in Bob. Uh, that was a great shot by uh, Bob, and uh, his brother might be just as good as him. But I'm gonna put my money on Bob. Oh my gosh, you don't know this that Ro Bob is short for Robert. Yes, I do. I was just playing oh. along with you, Sean. Jesus. <laughs> oh my God. I just assumed you would get the joke otherwise, but never and, mind. And I assumed that you would have got the joke. Hey, on it's top four to three. Oh my God. <laughs> and four. Four to three with a hanger. Yeah, that's uh, that's bad. That's a bad marker, as and you can that's see. Why. And she is cursing out that dart and that dart. Honestly, it was the fault of dart number one. Gates hits this, right? Four bulls? Typically. Yeah, I would almost bet absolutely. That's not no, going to be as easy anymore. Yeah, of course it is. Now it's really not easy for him. Wow. I'm telling that first dart killed it. Did it? Yeah, it really did. I'm glad you know. Uh, Bob Anderson, uh, the the guy I would put my all my money on, uh, th that, that was the argument. I don't know who this Robert guy is. I trust in Bob. Well, you can't change it now. Nice shot, Bob. And they get the leg up one nothing. In of course they set do. Set number four. This is set number three, but good try. Um, so set number three, it is two to zero in sets. I'm right. As Leonard's going to step up here to start league number two. You are right. I know. <laughs> Guys, Danny's speechless right now because I'm right. Not because he was wrong and I said the right thing, but just because I was actually right. The assumption that I was going to be wrong filled his brain completely so that it paused him from being able to communicate once he realized that everything he's ever known about the universe has been proven to be incorrect. And you're you're right. You want that for play-by-play? -play? No, you got you're right. It. Yeah, well done. Uh, Mental play-by-play. -play. Good, uh, good start by Gates, seven mark, but uh, followed by a six mark uh, by uh, Bob Anderson as Gates likes to take a rest. Yeah, he, he looks worried. Nah. Just kidding. He looks calm, cool, cool and collected. Nice four mark. Just enough. Yeah, Ariel's been consistent. Three mark, four mark. Thrown in a seven when she needs to. But the domination really has been Cheyenne Richards, who was not expecting to hit those first two darts to be able to look at dart three. Technically, she stepped out of the box, so for Danny, her round's over. And uh, she'll look up at the 20s. And gets it! Boom goes the dynamite for Cheyenne Richards. I mean... She's been strapping on that back backpack named Bob all day long, what do carrying you mean, him around. Wait, what do you mean she stepped out of the box? The box. The back so of the. So if you step in the back of the box, you turn so it's supposed to be over. That's the case. That uh, that's th those are rules at like Indiana State and stuff like oh, that. Oh, okay, that's what I was asking. Yeah, I mean, I, it makes I, sense. Like uh, my assumption is that that's that they, otherwise why have it? 
Yeah, okay. You know? Yeah, yeah, no, it makes sense. I think that's just an like the ex- exclusion no, the, zone. Yeah, no, I get that. Yeah. Um I'm just letting you know that the reason why those box box boxes exist at uh other types of events is because of that specific rule. Yeah, I, okay, I got I got it. Big shot by Bob Anderson. Now ask if anyone follows that rule. No. I mean, obviously not, but no. if anyone would enforce that rule, it's been attempted to be enforced before on me. Well, and uh look at that. I didn't oh, step out of the box. That's a <laughs> wait, did you see that? Great five mark. No, wait a minute. Will, are you able to rewind on your end or no? Did she just hit a seven mark or was that a five mark? Ariel, can you confirm that last dart? Uh, my my eyes could have deceived me. Oh, did you think it registered a five and it was a seven? Yeah, I think I I, I feel like it registered a five. It was a, just a quick glance there. But I, I feel like it registered a five and she hit a seven. There's a lot of people that say it looks like it was a five or a seven. Looks like it was a seven. And I and I think she didn't really notice or pay attention because she was angry. Bob staying there. Bob hit a seven. It was uh it was on the seventeens, Will. Uh, Will will have that answer for us in about the same amount of time it takes for a replay to be overturned in the NFL. So we got a few minutes. Ariel's going to step up. That's seven eighteens. Should be back to back sevens. Yeah. Oh man, look at this. Cheyenne's still staying on fire. Is she going to throw a third right at? This is a big dart. It's a huge dart. Going back down. Oh. And we'll see how big it actually is. Oh, that second dart was huge. But he'll take it. Yeah, I'm just trying to confirm on that and uh, see if uh, that, in fact, was a seven. I, mean, I, I feel it doesn't like matter she, now. It doesn't matter now, but it yeah. it could it could have it could have mattered, right? It could have mattered. Well, here you go. Yeah, there's a second. Yeah, yeah that was did. a seven. That was a seven mark. Yep. So you know that's a that's a thirty four point difference, yeah. and I don't think she really paid attention because nope. when she she was almost angry like she didn't hit it. But you think that thirty four points matters? It matters. Yeah, it would it would matter now, but I mean she could have um, gotten three free darts at the nineteen there. Sure, but sure. she'll take six on the yeah. on the eighteen. But that's why you pay attention to what you hit. You don't pull your darts until you get everything fixed up. Yeah, and yeah. I know I know people are gonna say you flight it into it and. And like, look, by rule, you're absolutely right. Um, th- they don't have to give it to him, but right. uh, any four of these players no. would have gave it, given it to him the, and say that yes, it was a seven mark. And Bob and Cheyenne are not ex- not required to pay attention to what their opponent does. If I would have seen that happen with my opponent, I would have ran up to the board to stop them to back it up instead of like because I I would hate to win that way no matter what. I would hate to have that be even in my mind of something I allowed to happen. So you know that Bob and Cheyenne also didn't see it. No, and I, it was quick. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. That, that's what I'm saying. I think it was – I don't even know if she really noticed that she hit the seven mark because it, the way it deflected – Oh, for uh, sure. It might, you know, they I, probably blocked her view. Exactly, and she just snatched the darts out. So uh, not saying that that, you know, that changes the aspect of the game, but it definitely changes the aspect of a few shots that, that could have happened afterwards. Oh, unlucky Ooh. there. Not a good third. It's for 
Good five mark there by uh, by Gates and uh, it's uh, Bob Anderson up here needing a a few 19s here to get the lead back. There's uh there's three of them. There's six of them. Come on, Bob. Boom goes the whist. Johnson. Yeah, not just a seven mark by Bob, but uh, that's a good shot. As a ruin a cool moment, Bob. All right, here we go. See what Ariel can do <laughs> on the 18. They're just uh, going back and forth. Uh, round 12, 874 to 912. Haven't even glanced at the 16s, 15s, or bowls. No, they're just battling 19s and 18s. And now they have to continue battling the 19s. Yeah, Cheyenne's going to need a, a big shot here. Oh, wow. See, this is where I look, right? Because two darts, two. I would have taken the two yeah. two darts to shut the 18 down See, cause, instead of the one. Yeah. It, if you have two wed or if you need two marks and you have two darts in your hand, that's the time to take it if you're going to do it. Correct. If you know you're going to take your third dart at it, you might as well take your, your second dart at it. Especially when you have someone like Leonard Gates stepping up behind you. Who's going to fill it up and hit at least four 18s. Yeah, there's going to be an above 54-point lead here for Leonard. Just kidding. Maybe not, but exactly 1,000 points. Uh, well done. He added the math up and did that correctly. 31 points ahead of Bob and Cheyenne. I did it faster than you could say it, so... Do you think Gates really added up the math to make sure it was a thousand points, Sean? No, not exactly. All right. But that was the right shot. It uh, was just right like shot. Bob taking out the 18 here is the right shot, and he does so. Yep, that's good because he uh, he heard you. Well, I just take my playbook out of uh, Danny Baggish. Yep. Uh, this is an important shot. Uh, she needs three. That's all she needs. She doesn't need to worry about five. She doesn't need to worry about four. She just needs three. So two more. Doesn't get it. Doesn't get it. And uh, the way Cheyenne's been playing, that that might hurt. I think it will. But uh, the reason why it's not is because uh, I said it was going to. So it's just going to do the total opposite. Wow. And uh, it looks like uh, Gates is going to punish that shot. I expect uh <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear him? Uh he uh, Oh, big O out there from Leonard Gates. So, um only a two mark. Uh we're just gonna nothing could everything is on the table here for Bob. His hits, misses, we're not gonna say anything. I'm not saying anything. Matter of fact, I'm not gonna say anything for the rest of the the rest of the night. You can't make promises that you can't keep. What a Big shot by Bob Anderson. Anderson. 29 point lead. Seven marks, 29 point lead uh, with Ariel up next. and um, She's had her one miss. I don't think that she does that again. No, I, I don't think she does either. And we're getting into that, into that moment in that game where do you start thinking about the rounds? Because I uh, believe we definitely should right now. This is round 16. This is 16 of 20. If you're Cheyenne, you don't look at the 16s at any point in time. No, you don't. Unless you hit well, no, the I two mean, you can close the two here. You can hit the two 16s. But if you're going to go with the nah. first, second dart. That's a big. Oh, wow. What a, oh, my goodness. She that's just prayed bold, to the Lord. That's a bold move, Cotton. Yeah. It automatically gives she three darts to Bob. Oh, my gosh. For three bowls. Yeah. Come on, Gator. G. Willikers. <laughs> that, that's Bob saying. Yeah, if if I'm Bob here, I just throw uh, all 15s. No, yeah, you don't. Yeah, I just, I mean. YOLO. You may not get another shot at this. Just load up the 15. 15. Yeah. Hit it again. Yep. No, not that one. The other one. Does Gator tell... Call him Gator. <laughs> Does Gator tell? <laughs> uh, Does Gates tell Ariel to close the fifteen? I would. Or is Ariel just going to win the game? Uh, who knows? She's not going to win the game. She's not. And 
Cheyenne, just throw the 15. I, I just don't like it. I just don't like it. Well, when you're going to hit the third dart on the trip, 15 doesn't it. matter. It matters big time. I, I, yeah, because now Leonard Gates has winning darts in his hand. Yeah, absolutely. And that's exactly why you were saying it the whole way. Yes. But now he doesn't. No, he doesn't, but... Uh, again... This is... What, what round is this? 18? 19. This will be 19. Are we on 18? Oh. No, we're on 18. No, we're, no, on, we're 19. on 19. Yeah, yeah, just shoot all 15s. I wouldn't even Go for look the win. at the... No, what? Dude, just hit a triple 15. You play to win the game. You hit the triple 15. All you need is a triple 15, and, and she has to hit three or else the game's over. Or you just hit one double bull, Stop and it's a two-to-nothing lead, just one because, leg away from the title for Cheyenne and Bob. Just because he hit it doesn't make it right. It does because he hit it. No, what do you mean? Did he win the no. leg? Yes, and it it's was right a great shot. shot. It was a great shot. But what I'm saying is three 15s there. Or Ladies and gentlemen, if you don't want to listen to us argue for the next two minutes, uh, go ahead and just mute us now. Uh, Maya just said you were wrong. Who? Uh, the CSI defending champion, Jeremiah Millar. Maya said I'm wrong? Yep. Uh, Byron just said, Danny, shut up. I don't even know if you know Brian. I don't Byron. even know who these people are, so it doesn't matter. You know who Jeremiah Millar is? Jer Jeremiah Millar? No, I don't know who that is. What do you do, win the men's CSI? Well, that's old news. I bet he'd be in a race to five right now. I would take that bet. Jeremiah Millar, tonight, after the doubles, I'm challenging you to a race to five. He'll be tired because he's going to win that event. Okay, well, and he's going to have to play you afterwards. Okay. Yeah, it's not absolutely. Mike Maloney who's going to get second. Well, that's true. This is Jeremiah Millar. Okay, I get it. All right. All right, Cheyenne Richards up now. Great start from Ariel and Leonard. Not that I'm looking at the chat because we're not doing that anymore. We're trying to concentrate on the match. So... You are ruining this. Uh, just a two mark there by Cheyenne. It's about uh, balance, Danny. And I have balanced it very perfectly. Yeah, Gates is going to punish. Oh, just a seven. This is basically going on, on the next. Uh, yeah, the next leg is the important. The next leg is important with Bob and Cheyenne going first. Like unless th they turn this around. And just to let you know, if Bob hits two 15s that last game, it forces her to hit two bulls. If she doesn't hit the two bulls, the game's over. Just saying. But if she does hit two bulls, then the pressure is back on Cheyenne. Yeah, to hit two single and 15s. And Bob would rather have the pressure on himself. To hit two single 15s. Yeah, you're right. My bad. That big old 15. All right, Ariel's up now. All right, she's going to go 19. Yeah, shuts it down. Over to the 20. Oh, unlucky. All right. Cheyenne could utilize the high ground, but could just run. Cheyenne could utilize the high ground? Yeah. <laughs> what, what high ground is she getting? I'm reading the wrong side of the screen. Leave me alone. <laughs> oh, my God. We've been staring at a screen for a while, Danny. <laughs> A long, 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 long time. I, I understand. She's going to utilize the 17s, and uh, Gates is going to utilize the high ground as he uh, closes the 17s, hits the triple 20, and uh, one on the 16. So a uh, nice shot by Gates, and uh, Bob's going to shoot 16s here. Will it take you that long to figure that one out? Danny's wrong again. He shot at eight. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> You're unbelievable. This is great. Needs a triple. And then some. Yeah, not that it mattered. <laughs> it but it would have brought him within ninety seven points and I that's guess huge. He needed a triple to close the number. Yeah. Um Yeah, yeah. And give him sixteen points. But uh the other part of this is that Ariel's throwing fantastically in this leg too. And we don't wanna like put this past her. Yeah, she didn't even – doesn't care to move on, which uh, in this instance, it's okay. Yep. Uh, we're just all basically waiting uh, for the this leg to be over so we can see what happens in the next one. Do you find it really weird that this says it's game three of three, even though Bob and Cheyenne have won the first two? Like, why, why are they still able to play this third game? Um, 
Do you think they just said it was one one score line just to be able to play a game three? That's in the bowl for Leonard. So you can go back and mark that. Although there technically is only two darts in the bowl, and he registered two bowls. Would you argue that fact? Now we did watch dart three go into the bowl. Dart two bounced out. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't. No, I didn't watch any of that. Uh, to You're be trying, with you. trying to pay attention to the. Yeah, what, what mind blow said. what I just said. Yeah, why is why does it say game three of three? Again, I think they just made it say that the other team won, so they didn't have to switch it yet. Okay, even though because that way, if Bob and Cheyenne win this one, they don't have to replay another ma like restart another match. It's just they can go through all like don't have to go through all that formality. But we we would have known that uh, probably would just want to start a new match because uh, Lennon and Ariel is, is the favorite to win that leg anyways, going first, right? Uh, if Ariel shoots a 4-2... They'll win the whole thing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah absolutely. And Gage shoots a... 5-6? No. 6.0. Sorry, I was 0.4 off. Yeah, so it's 2-1. to That's one. kind of a lot. Uh, Bob and Cheyenne, and um, here it is. This is the start. This is This is the one that's going to matter. As they they fix the setup here, Bob and Cheyenne first Leonard and Ariel. What are, what are they talking about? Oh, okay. They the, they got the official in there and everything. I, I'm I'm trying to figure out what. Uh, okay. Why are they doing that? So. Don't do that. Don't make it just one leg. No, make it two out of three. Or race to three yeah. again. Yeah, literally, that's all you have to do to make sure that they go to the next one. Without having to touch this again. All right, they're good. Lose a side, race to two? Yep. Perfect. Uh, that's fine. Yeah. All right, here we go. That makes sense. Yep. This two start, to one. This start is going to, this start is going to matter. So we just have to make sure that, um, Bob. Starts off with at least a uh, five or a seven, and um, uh, just a three, <laughs> just a three. But listen, you guys can see that right there on the screen. You don't even need us to say anything. Closing, uh, closing to twenty is huge. That doesn't happen. Yeah, for Leonard. No, it it doesn't. But all right, you have to you have to make sure you close the twenties. I've seen it too many times where you go single, single, miss, and then it, the next person behind you hits a 180 and then hitches behind the eight ball. Do you find yourself in a match where you're ahead this much that the hardest leg to win is the last one? Oh, the, the hardest leg to always win is the last one, just like uh, the hardest double to hit is the last one to win a match. So, uh, yeah, absolutely. When especially you were overseas, especially your when opponents you're did not seem like wait the a hardest leg to win was the last one against you. Okay, here we go. We're going back to this? I just had to hit it one more time. But, so that's the last time you're going to say something about me being so horrifically horrible overseas? 100% uh, no. Okay. But uh, well, I don't make promises I can't keep. Okay, no problem. That's fine. That's a, that's a big miss. Triple seven. Uh... Gates is going to try to load up the 19s, but it's not uh, six of them. So 133 to 100, and uh, Cheyenne's going to look to load up the 20s. Yeah, nice yeah. triple. Another one? Oh, just outside. <laughs> but 180, that's enough. The eye rolls. Or is it? Uh, it it might not. If Ariel shoots the same way she shot in the last leg, uh, it won't be. Triple. Uh, just three there with Bob up next. Bob, no matter what you do, I think you have to shut this 19 down. So if, even if you hit 120. Paul Rogers asked how many times have I shot overseas. Never even uh, been invited over there. That's how uh, bad I've shot overseas. Yeah, I think that's just a... Um, I do not have a losing record, though. Overseas, you don't have yep. a losing record? Nope. Well, I, I, I do. 
I do. <laughs> I have a losing. <laughs> I have a losing record, uh, but I don't have a losing record versus some of the top players. Whoop! Just kidding. Um, what was that? Just Gates just doing what Gates does: <laughs> dance, dance, dance. Uh, I've never seen him hold onto the dart, walk forward a few steps, and then step back and, and retry. She closes the twenty-first. No, to she, not play with it. Yeah, she closed so the 19th. 19, sorry, that's, that's what I'm going to say. And then pointed on the high ground. And uh, Ariel's going to look to load up the 18 here. She's been really good on this number. She has been. She's been good on a lot of numbers. But uh, that one mark's going to hurt. And this is a must win for Leonard and Ariel. And if you're going to break, you need some fives and sevens at some timely nines. You need your opponents not to do that. That almost hit the 13, and he's not happy about that. So he's going to go to the 20. Yeah, even I'm not happy with that second or that first start if it's me throwing it. That tells you how bad that was. Yeah, but that, yeah. but more so expected from you. Oh, 100%. Uh, hitting that spot 100%. Than, than Bob. Oh, it wasn't a surprise if I do that. It just is more annoying. Yeah. Just smooth. Is he going to take the look? No, it stays there. At what point in time do you think that they're going to take the look, being uh, being down 2-1? Yeah, I mean. You, you can't let Cheyenne and Bob just sit there and pound the 20s like uh, like they're likely going to do. Eventually it becomes a broken record, right? Yeah, it, it, it does. I it mean, does. It but we're trying to say, you know, with, with Gates, with his caliber, of course, right? At what point in time does he take the shot? As early as he possibly can. Yeah, because, I mean, you don't want to fight 20s and 19s, much less 20s and 17s and then 20s and 16s, right? Just losing, losing, losing ground. You lose 12 points per 9 mark. In that regard. Well, not really, but that's all right. 27 points. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> Look oh, at this, Bob. this could be it. He's trying to throw a nail oh in the coffin for the Wisconsinites. Goodness. What a shot. I, Bob Anderson might have just won the match right there and the title. Nice uh, hat trick by Gates. Cheyenne, just go for it. Yeah, three numbers. Just go for it. A little nervy. Listen, if oh, I'm yeah. playing for $12,000 and I know I need three bulls, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to load up the points and say, you know what? You hit it. <laughs> <laughs> Bob, you did all that work earlier. Remember that? Do more. <laughs> yeah, please. Because I'm not doing it because my hand's going to be shaking. And you know for a fact Ariel is going to keep this interesting. Yeah, she will keep it interesting. Ariel did not make anyone pay for that. So Bob's going to step up. You go right at the win. Yep, exactly, Wall. Um, so so I was here talking to Will, so dart three here for Bob. I was just talking to my boss, man. The Wall and I agreed that uh, you go for the win there. <laughs> yeah, well, you well go, the Wall didn't say no. You do go for the win, but I don't think you go for the win on the last dart because it's it's only a double ball to get ahead, and he's just going to load it up. Less pressure that you want to put with uh, for your partner, Cheyenne. What's just more pressure, having to throw that match-winning dart or to just point as much as possible? A match-winning dart. Yeah, it's, it's so she's able to just point as much as possible. So yeah. there's no pressure. Yeah, no pressure, but she's going to want to win the game anyways. <laughs> that works. Uh, but if you miss into a single, which she does not do, there you go. Your champions of the first ever mixed CDI Cheyenne Richards, Bob Anderson, defeat Leonard Gates and Ariel Feist. What a great 
great, great battle.